Welcome to the Quick Tips video, Student Learning Assessment Access. What I'm going to cover in today's Quick Tips video is how to sign up for a new Alberta Education account, how to request access to the Student Learning Assessment Teacher Dashboard, and how to approve an access request. You'll start this process by visiting public.education.alberta.ca slash assessment. That page is going to look like this, and you're going to want to select the Teacher Access link from the top of the page here. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to the Alberta Education Account sign-up page. What I'd like to show you here is how to create a new account if you don't already have one. You're just going to enter your school or school jurisdiction email address. Um, this email address will be associated to your Alberta Education account, so this should be the email address that you use at work. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is that Alberta Education is providing a social login tool. What you see here are the links for Google and Microsoft, and these indicate that if you have an existing Google account or Microsoft account, you can simply use those accounts as your Alberta Education credentials. Many school jurisdictions are using Google Mail, so those people can simply click on the Google button. Microsoft includes any Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, or Live.com email addresses. So I'm just going to enter my email address here, which I've done, and I'm going to click I'm new, sign me up. So at this point, you may be asked to take one or more security steps by participating in a CAPTCHA activity. So I need to select everything that has a car in it. I've confirmed that I am not a robot, and I can click Sign Up. So the message I'm getting here is that an email has just been sent to my email address, and uh, I'm going to need to go over to that email box inbox and find the correct email and then click on the confirmation link that's been sent in there. And that will complete my Alberta Education account sign up. The email that you're going to receive will look like this and you can see the confirmation link at the top along with some other useful information for you. So I click on that confirmation link that's at the top of the email and this is going to take me to the next step of the process. On this page, you're going to be asked to enter a screen name and a password for your new Alberta Education account. I'm going to enter my screen name. Now remember that this screen name is how people in the application are going to see you. Uh, once I've got a screen name in there and it's been accepted, I've got the little OK, and now I need to create a password. My password needs to be at least eight characters long, contain both upper and lowercase letters, and at least one non-letter. So, I'd like to point out on the right hand side you've got that um, tool that has come up to help me make sure that I create a really good strong password. I'd urge you to pay attention to that to make sure you're keeping your account secure. So I've been taken to the next screen which is where I am going to fill out a form, basically, that's going to be sent through to my administration, who are going to approve my access to the Student Learning Assessment Teacher Dashboard. So the first thing we'll need to do is you'll need to indicate what type of organization you work for. So I can choose my school board from this particularly long list. Uh, once I've chosen my school board, next thing I'll do is select my school. Following that, I'm going to confirm that yes, this is my business email address. So if that's correct, I'm going to check off the check mark. I'm going to put in my first name, and then my last name, my job title, and my phone number. Uh, following that, I have a couple of things I need to read. The Provincial Education Directory FOIP statement. So this comes up. I can make sure that I read and understand that. Close. Check off that box. Uh, following this, the Terms of Use. Again, you're going to want to open that up. Read carefully through it. 
and then check off that box. Now, which education apps do you need access to? Today I've come here for access to the SLA teacher dashboard, so I'm going to click that and click on start request. And great, I can see that my request is now pending approval and that an email has been sent to the following approvers. Now, um, oftentimes, uh, your approver will be your principal, but sometimes there will be more than one person in this list. It's important to know that if your list contains two or three people or more, um, only one of them has to actually be the person who approves your account. So next I'm going to show you the steps that your approver needs to take in order to approve your access request. The first thing that your approver is going to need to do is to access his or her Alberta Education account. So they can do so by going to account.education.alberta.ca slash paz.account. So that will take them to a similar sign-in page just like we saw when we signed up for a new Alberta Education account. So now what they need to do is sign in with their account information, their email, and password. Once I'm signed in uh, as the approver, I see that my account is visible to me here. And everything looks correct and right. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I can see there are some profile requests awaiting my approval. And there's a number beside it. This tells me how many are, are waiting to be approved. Looks like I've got one. I'm going to click on it and I can see um, the email of the person, their name, organization, the role, when they requested it, and I can then determine, you know what, I think I'm going to look at a little bit more detail here so I can click on view request and it's going to give me a little bit more detail about this particular request. I can see that this person has requested SLA teacher access and now as the approver, I'm going to be able to either give them that approval or not. So you can see that there are a number of options at the bottom. You can approve the request, you can reject the request, or we can reject and report as suspicious. So once the approver is satisfied that this is a legitimate request, they can click right here to approve it. And once they do that, um, they'll get a, no a notification that an email has been sent to confirm to the user that their profile request has in fact been approved. So once you receive that email as a teacher, you can then go back to the Student Learning Assessment Teacher Dashboard. Again, to access the dashboard, you're going to go to public.education.alberta.ca slash assessment. So when you click on that Teacher Access button this time, you're going to be taken to the Alberta Education Account Login page. Once you see that familiar page, you'll then be able to enter your username and password, and you'll be granted access into the Teacher Dashboard. I hope that you found this Quick Tips video useful. If you require more information about the Alberta Education Account sign-up or access to the Student Learning Assessment Teacher Dashboard, please review the teacher guides provided on the Alberta Education website, or you can contact us by phone or email. Thanks for watching the SLA Access Quick Tips video.